given a string we need to find out the longest substring with at least k repeating characters let's take this as our substring a b a b it has two unique characters a which occurs twice this is greater than or equal to k and then b which is which occurs twice which is greater than or equal to k so good now the length of this substring is 4 okay what if we take this as our substring a b a b b it has two unique characters a which occurs twice and this is greater than or equal to k and then b which occurs twice and this is also greater than or equal to k so k okay, okay now th the length of this substring is 5 now what if we take the entire string as our substring so a b a b b c it has three unique characters a b and c a occurs twice which is greater than or equal to k and then b occurs three times which is greater than or equal to k but c occurs once which is not greater than or equal to k so this did not meet our requirements so we're going to say that this is zero we need to take the longest substring so which is this substring so our we're going to return five now let's take an example let's find out the longest substring of this uh, string so over here a occurs five times let's say k is equal to three which is greater than or equal to k b occurs 16 times which is also greater than or equal to k c occurs once which is not greater than or equal to k e occurs twice which is also not greater than or equal to k now we mark c's and e's in the array uh, in the string and cross them out so uh, let me do it in a different color easier so we cross c and e now we take this part 4b's and ab ab then we take this part which is just b and then we take this part which is BBA and 4B and then we take this part which is A then 3Bs AAB now let's come to this string it has two A's which is not greater than or equal to K and then it has uh, six b's which is greater than or equal to k so we mark and mark a's and cross them out so a's cross a's now we take this part four b's this is just b this is just b again now we come to this string it has one a which is not greater than or equal to k and b occurs six times which is greater than or equal to k so we mark a and cross them out now we take this part bb and then we take this part which is 4b's now if we come over here we see that a occurs three times which is greater than or equal to k 
and p occurs four times which is greater than or equal to k so the length of this string is 7 so this is going to return 7 now we come to this string b occurs four times which is greater than or equal to k so we are okay this would return 4 if we come to this string b occurs twice which is not greater than or equal to k so it's going to return 0 now b occurs once which is not greater than or equal to k so this is going to return 0 and this is going to return 0 and this is going to return 4 right b occurs 4 times which is greater than or equal to k so it's going to return 4 now we take the maximum uh, now we're going to calculate for this string So we take the maximum of 4 0 and 0 so 4 0 0 we take the maximum Which is 4 so this string is going to return 4 Now we're going to calculate for this string so it has 4 and 0 so the maximum of 4 and 0 or 0 or 4 is 4 so it's going to return 4 uh, now I forgot this string is going to return 0 right now we we have 4 0 4 and 7 we take the maximum of 4 0 4 and 7 which is 7 now this entire string is going to return 7 Uh, this is how we solve this problem. Thank you.